one, ignition, engines full power, and lift off of Falcon 9 carrying NASA Pace. Go Falcon, go NASA LSP. We begin this week, as we often do, on a launch pad at Florida's Cape Canaveral. It was private spaceflight company SpaceX joining forces with NASA to launch the newest Earth-observing satellite. Atop a Falcon 9 rocket sat the Plankton Aerosol Cloud Ocean Ecosystem Satellite, or PACE for short. From space, NASA says PACE will study microscopic life in water and microscopic particles in the air. That means scientists will be able to study the effects of climate change on phytoplankton, the tiny organisms that scientists say produce some 50% of the oxygen we breathe. Space Flight Now reports the PACE launch marks the first U.S. government mission targeting the Earth's poles after a failed launch in the 1960s rained down debris on Cuba. We have engine ignition. Also this week, what began as another space launch for Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko became history-making as he broke the world record for most cumulative time spent in space. At the time of this writing, the 59-year-old has spent more than 878 days and 12 hours in space, beating the previous record by some 30 minutes and counting. He's made five trips to the International Space Station dating back to 2008. His current trip began last September, and if all goes according to plan, Kononenko will become the first person to accumulate 1,000 days in space by mission's end. Finally this week for the rest of us stranded on Earth, an upcoming treat for sky gazers in North America, a total solar eclipse on April 8th. It's very interesting that nowhere else in our solar system that we know of has the right uh, you know, size moon to just block the exact surface of of the sun and that's just a just a very unique you know earth is special during the eclipse some 44 million people from mexico to newfoundland can see the moon perfectly aligned between earth and the sun turning day into night for nearly four and a half minutes you'll need those special eclipse sunglasses to protect your eyesight if the moon were a bit closer the event could last as long as seven and a half minutes the bad news for most of us alive today, that won't happen until 2150. Arash Basadi, VOA News.